Let's go ahead and go on to page D4 with permutations and combinations. Whenever we're dealing with permutations and combinations, the thing to remember, first off, let's talk about permutations. Good thing to remember about permutations is that the order will matter. Okay, the order matters. All right, whenever we're dealing with a permutation type problem, you want to remember a formula. It's going to be n divided by n minus r, okay, where n represents the uh, big number and r represents the small number. Okay. Now the exclamation point is called a factorial. Use a factorial, for instance, if I have 4 factorial, this is going to be equal to 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. You take whatever numbers next to your factorial sign, you multiply it by all whole preceding numbers till you get to 1. So 4 factorial is going to get me 24. Okay. Now again, n is going to be the big number and r is going to be the small number when you apply the factorial. Okay. That's what we deal with permutations where the order will matter. This means that whenever we're dealing with combination type problems, the order is not going to matter. Okay. The order does not matter. So whenever we're dealing with a combination, there's one key concept you need to remember is that the formula that's on the page, we're going to have n, and then underneath n minus r times r. Okay. So now we have an extra r factorial on the outside of what we originally had. Now, again, n is going to represent the big number, and r is going to represent the small number. That's always going to be the case. If you do it the other way around, you're not going to get answers that you want. So whenever we're applying this, a good example of a combination is going to be the lottery. Let's say you're playing the lottery, you pull five numbers, and as long as your five numbers match the winning five numbers in any order, you still win the money. It doesn't have to be in the exact order. If it were in the exact order, no one would want to play the lottery anymore because the odds of winning would be astronomical. Not that they already aren't, but it's going to be even more intense. If you get the first number wrong, then you don't win. Okay? So, again, permutation, the order does matter. Combination, the order doesn't matter. All right?